some fire coal that had no bone. No. What is up, fellow humans? Today I'm going to show you how to make fire coat for protecting your metal when you're soldering on it. Before we get going, I want to ask you to like the page, subscribe, and leave me a comment. And here's the question I have for you. What kind of metal are you working with while you're at the bench? Leave me a comment below. Don't forget to hit that bell in the corner, and that'll give you an update every time I put up a new video. And for right now, um, we're going to make this fire coating that will help protect your metal. And I'm going to have a few different recipes on the website that you can download. So let's make this boric acid coat. The first thing you're going to need is an old pickle jar. This was actually an old olive jar. It doesn't have to be olives or pickles, just so it's a jar, glass jar. And you want to have a nice uh, lid that you can put on. The next thing you're going to need is boric acid. And this is a boric acid powder. And you can get this through Rio Grande in a variety of other different places. You can also check on Amazon. I'll try to leave you some links in the comments section. Uh, then you're going to need isopropyl alcohol, 91 or 92 proof something around there. Anything lower doesn't burn very well. This will be safe when it burns. Uh, some of the other uh, components for alcohol that they use um, are toxic to humans and other people and animals. So uh, use isopropyl alcohol. It's safe as um, you know vodka or anything like that. So there we go. Now you're gonna need a measuring cup. I have a half a half a cup here and you're gonna need some measuring spoons. The first thing you want to do is obviously take the lid off and we're going to take two tablespoons of boric acid. So I have my tablespoon and I like to use a big heaping amount like this. One, two. Next you're going to need your isopropyl alcohol and we're going to put in approximately half a cup. So I'm just going to take the lid off, fill this up and just pour it in. Now this would be um, a little thicker solution and you want to just kind of mix this up. This, if you were doing annealing, you'd want to use it about like this. Um, if you're just working with uh, repairs and soldering things together, we're going to add another half a cup. This would just have an extra fire coating on it. So we don't need quite that much. We're going to add a full cup and do our two tablespoons. Next, you'll want to mix this up. You can kind of just slosh it around a little bit like this. I recommend putting the lid on like so and just giving it a little shake. Wait till it settles and then you can dip your pieces in. Next, it's time to dip your piece and this will fire coat it. And what happens is as this heats up, we're going to light this on fire. And when this heats up, it's going to create a glassy layer around the silver and it's actually going to protect it. Um, if we didn't have any fire coating on this at all, and if you've tried this, you'll notice that your silver piece will become black, or if you're working on gold, it can become black. And what's happening is the copper or the alloy is coming to the surface and it's just kind of burning onto the outside. And it's very difficult to get this off. So this little solution actually protects the whole piece and it helps protect it so that you don't have to have extra work. Little uh, note of caution here, Always, always, always put the lid back on this and close it. You don't need a Molotov cocktail kind of situation going on and have this catch on fire. Now that the, uh, the boric acid is out of the way and we have this set up on a um, soldering pad, we're ready to light it. And so what we're going to do is burn off the isopropyl alcohol and that will make the, um, the boric acid turn into a glass around this. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, this step is what you would do before you do any sort of soldering. So every time you're going to solder, you need to do this step. Uh, this is how I mix up uh, my boric acid solution. Um, this is a fire coat for silver and gold and um, platinum, depending on who you are. Uh, if you have any questions on this, let me know. Uh, let me know what kind of metal you're working on. Are you working in silver? Are you working in gold? Uh, just leave me a comment in the, uh, the comment section below. Also check out uh, gotcharocks.com. I'm going to put up the recipes, a couple different versions of this. Uh, that one will be for like annealing, one will be for soldering. Anyways, it's free. 
check it out and um, be sure to subscribe, share, and all that stuff. Thanks so much for watching and have a great, uh, great time at the bench. I look forward to seeing you in another video. Bye. I'm on my own.